Hello and welcome back to the second video of the series Mastering Regular Expressions. In the first video, we discussed about why we should learn regular expressions and what are the different use cases of regular expressions like validating the user input up to creating customer support boards. In this video, we are going to learn about quantifiers. Quantifiers are something that help us to specify in a regular expression how many characters or character sets should be matched against the text corpus. Quantifiers can be either greedy or lazy. By greedy we mean they will keep matching the pattern in the text corpus and lazy means as soon as the condition is fulfilled that we have specified in the regular expression they will stop matching further into the text corpus so right now we are seeing the different quantifiers available in python programming language first quantifier is a star so a star matches for zero or more times for the preceding character or character set second quantifier is the addition sign it matches for one or more times third quantifier is question mark which matches for zero or one time for the preceding characters and there are few more ways where we can define the quantifiers in curly braces the syntax is n comma m we can omit m sometimes so if we are omitting m it will match exactly starting from n up to m if m is absent then it will match for infinite number of m as much as possible so let's see all of these quantifiers one by one using some examples let's use our reference website regex 101 over here i can see that i have copied some text from the wikipedia programming page entry and now what we are going to do is we will try out different quantifiers with different expression on this text corpus first of all we are going to start with the star quantifier which matches zero or more times now over here i have put m star so what it is going to match is either it can match for m for zero times or it can match for m as many as times it wants so this is a kind of greedy approach because i am saying okay keep matching m and don't stop anywhere so if in this expression if i put question mark star means zero or more times by marking question mark what i am doing is i am saying okay for this expression stop as soon as you have the smallest matching pattern so if you noticed in this slide what is the major difference between the quantifiers and lazy quantifiers if we add question mark in the end of any quantifier it becomes a lazy quantifier so over here i am saying okay match for zero or more time and it is a lazy one stop as soon as you find the minimum length of the expression so what it is matching is progra because over here we have specified it can match either zero or more times similarly now let's move on to addition quantifier addition says m should be available in one or more times now it is matching m twice if you can see yeah in all the instances of programming it is matching for a twice because plus means one or more times now assume i want to convert it to lazy quantifier i am going to put a question mark in the end but before i do that pause the video think about it and then after that let's see your answer matches the actual answer or not so over here what it does is it will stop as soon as the plus is matched for one time so it will match for program only Similarly, there is uh, another quantifier with name question mark which says I want to match m exactly for 0 or 1 time 
question mark alone is greedy quantifier it will keep matching for the maximum length of expression but if i want to make it as lazy quantifier if i put one question mark it will stop as soon as zero matches of m are found because question mark means matches zero or one time now let's come to the brackets or the curly braces based quantifier now let's say i want to find all the strings which are having p r o g r a m and m should be exactly two times so this is one way of doing it i can say i would be okay even if m is one time and it can be of maximum two times so assume if text like program it will match it because it matches for the m one time and it will consider this instance of program as well coming to the next way of denoting the regular expression quantifier is through this notation which says curly braces one comma and then curly brace close what it means is okay i want exactly one instance of m and it can go up to anywhere now if i want to make it as lazy quantifier i will put in one question mark in the end of this quantifier and then it will match accordingly now if i want to match zero or more and i make it as lazy quantifier it will start matching on zeros because it will stop as soon as this particular substring or pattern is matched so we have seen the examples how different quantifiers work whether it is a star quantifier adds quantifier or a question mark by now i think you have figured out that these quantifiers can be written down in curly braces based notation so this quantifier star which means or which looks to match zero or more times for the preceding character it can be denoted by this notation which says curly braces start zero comma curly braces end so it will match exactly zero or more time similarly the plus can be denoted by one comma because it will start matching for one item and it will keep matching until infinite items are matched the question mark quantifier can also be denoted by zero comma one notation because it will look for zero or one time for matching the string or pattern i think in quantifier we are going to learn this much and i'll see you soon